My name is Rodri Good and I am the product manager for Rolls Royce Spectre. Is that one of the best jobs in the world? I think so. <laughs> I think it probably <laughs> is. No, it's great. I mean, it's a huge privilege to work on our first electric car and indeed the world's first ultra luxury electric super coupe. We were very much driven by the fact that first and foremost it needed to be a Rolls Royce and I think you you see that as soon as you see the car it's unmistakably Rolls Royce. It's, and it's actually a very big size, it's Phantom Coupe exactly. size but so it the, really suits it well. Yeah exactly, so the proportions were inspired by Phantom Coupe. Um, we've got all the design cues of a Rolls Royce, of course, the Pantheon Grill, the Spirit of Ecstasy. Okay, let's, let's say that to people because we'll start here. So the Pantheon Grill, yeah. interestingly, you've made it aerodynamic. Exactly. So it's the widest grill we've ever had. We've reimagined the grill slightly because now it no longer needs to cool a B12. Yes. So in instead it shapes air around the Super Coupe. So the grill vanes are now like this. Yes. It's shaped the air around. And in fact, Spectre is the most aerodynamic Rolls Royce ever. Really? The drag coefficient wow. is only 0.25. Okay. And this, or oh, the twin lights, yeah. someone was saying that echoes the fans. Exactly, of the yeah. So the, the, the split headlight design is a historically relevant Rolls Royce feature, it's something we've had throughout our history. Um, and was last seen in the Goodwood era on Phantom Coupe and Phantom Drophead Coupe. Amazing. Now, the spirit of exit, I mean, it shows how confident everyone at Goodwood has become. The fact that you're now changing around the grill and the spirit of ecstasy. Yeah, I mean, the, the shape really, of the grill is really always... You own the brand. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, design term. the shape of the grill has always evolved, you know, and it, it represents the philosophy of the car. Yes. So on Phantom, it's very sheer. Um, and it has that real presence, presence. that Phantom commands. Yeah. Also, the spirit of ecstasy. If you look throughout the Rolls Royce history, that's also evolved. There's been and many it, different. Parts. Yeah, there's been yeah. many different iterations, and it's evolved again on Spectre. She has a lot more forward intent, as we call it. So, one foot yeah, in front of the other, see. rather than side by side. Um, and she really reflects the dynamic character of Spectre. And what I like is, if you look in the history, there's there's other iterations where the spirit of Exy has this almost crouching... Kneeling yeah, into exactly. the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. So. Um, funny enough, we interviewed on the channel Graham Hull, who was head designer for Rolls-Royce for 20 years at Crew, and I was asking, because I said, surely the grill should never be changed, and he said, no, I, we yeah. would change the grill, yeah, we would yeah. make it and, more. And, he, know, he was fully in agreement with yeah, what for sure. and you if you were look doing. At, I mean, even the cars we have on display here, we've got the full range, Phantom, Cullinan, Ghost, and Spectre, of course. Each car has a different grill. Uh, can we open the bonnet? It's physically possible to, but we can't hear whilst, whilst the car's on display. But you can open the bonnet. And what is in there? There's the front motor. Okay. The car's all-wheel drive, so we have a front and rear motor. Okay, so there's two motors, yeah, and it's all-wheel drive. Exactly, yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then other than that, there's a, there's a cover, a very elegant cover with a Rolls-Royce plaque on. Um, there's not a huge amount of space under there with all the technology that's yeah. under the hood. Yeah. Um, so we actually decided not to have a front because there was relatively little of space and the boot or the trunk is huge yes i can imagine that okay if we come around uh the wheels uh what size are they we've got 23 inch wheels for the first time wow so we absolutely but they don't look at it i love the way the tires are actually good size yeah they are yeah, exactly. to them yeah exactly yeah which so makes, uh, is it the usual where the tires have the foam exactly, yeah, insert yeah, so it's yeah ultra so, quiet and exactly ultra quiet and uh, to use your point about proportion they very they very much suit the, the proportions of the car they do because um, they don't they look perfect exactly yeah and exactly. the wheels are important yeah very interesting wheel design as well yeah so there's four different uh, wheel designs for the 20 23 inch this oh, is, is there? This is one of them, and we have okay. three other designs available. Can you get the disc ones, like on the Phantom? You can't, no, that's, that's only Phantom. for Phantom. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. I like the way some things are specific yeah, to and each of the cars. I think the disc wheel really suits Phantom, and on Spectre we have some designs that, uh, that suit Spectre. So if we come around here, it's got the pillarless... Yeah, the pillarless glass house, so the windows are down at the moment, obviously. Which um, looks lovely. Yeah, which looks really stunning. Um, and you'll notice immediately, even looking from here, you very much sit inside the car. Yes. So you have this feeling, and when you're driving, the car really wraps around you. It's yeah. got large proportions, but with all-wheel drive, and particularly the all-wheel steer, yeah. you immediately become familiar. Um, uh, we've just done a global press launch in Napa Valley in California. Yes, and the, re re the yes. reviews are rave. Yeah, thank you so much. Everyone yeah, the, loves it. The reviews have been great, and so many people commented to me, you forget it's an electric car. 
it feels like a Rolls Royce. Which and that's it's, yeah, that's it's exactly. A, what and that's why when I was looking at it earlier, I mean, when we see, it's a classic Rolls Royce interior. Yeah. I love the fact that yeah. uh, Rolls Royce didn't go for a kind of a techie interior. No, exactly. and or, that was what our clients wanted. You know, they said make sure you keep it a Rolls Royce, and that means craftsmanship. It means rarity. It means wood, it means leather, you know, lovely crafted materials. Oh, and you've got the Starlight doors. Yeah, so here we have the Starlight doors, and of course you can have the Cannadale doors as, as an alternative. Which are lovely. Yeah, which are both lovely. I mean, that's a, uh, you know, a... Uh, yeah, and that is... Is that fabric? Yeah, it's leather, yeah. This is leather. This is leather. Uh, but sporty. this is... Is that leather? Yeah, that's leather as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's 4,796 stars in the two coach doors and the rear quarter panels. Wow. And then 1,150 in the headliner. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, the work that must go into it. I love that, the classic door handle yeah. from the 30s. And the great thing is, as well, with, with Spectre, you can close the doors electronically from the outside and, of course, the inside. And on Spectre, for the first time, when you put your foot on the brake pedal, the driver's door closes. That's a nice touch. So when you get in the car to start the motors, you put your foot on the brake and the door closes. Really I, elegant. I that was a really nice touch. And uh, does it do auto? Oh, OK. And so if you want to get it in the back, which looks like it has loads of space, yeah. how does the seat go forward? Is so it you, just... Can just, you can just pull the seat forward. Yeah. And as you touch the front, Spectre is a true four-seater. So it goes forward itself yeah. like that. And it's got the full tunnel going down through, which is really nice as well. I mean, it's and we call the interior, and this is a great phrase from our designers, a cosseting art lounge. Say it again. A cosseting art lounge. A cosseting art lounge. Yeah. I love, so I love. It. I love you're, it. you're sat in the car, it wraps around you, and you're surrounded, you're surrounded by these curated materials, the leather, the wood, all of the craftsmanship that is artistic. Uh, it's truly stunning. It truly is amazing. Now, I know, I think there's a wait list of two years, is there? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've had an overwhelming amount of interest. Obviously, it depends um, where you are in the world. We've had a, a huge amount of pre-orders from our clients. We, we start delivering it in Q4 this year. Yes. Um, but don't be surprised to, you know, perhaps be waiting now until 2025 if you were to only or jump. Or 26, I think. I was talking to someone in, yeah. <laughs> in Rolls Royce in London. They said, no, this is... This in is, London, maybe, if yeah. they're at 26 already. Out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, so this is actually two-tone yeah. uh, black chartreuse. Yeah, chartreuse and diamond black. Diamond this black. This is actually the new aero two-tone. So typically the two-tone runs on the shoulder line here. Yes. And this is the aero two-tone. So the two-tone is just on the center piece. Okay. And you can also have the upper two-tone if you like on the on the shoulder line. Matching or is anyone has anyone gone for three colors? You can't do three colors. You can't no. do so three. If you have upper two-tone, uh, this part would be in the upper color. Okay. Yeah. Have you? And um, can we open the yeah, flap? Sure. Oh wow! Okay. So AC, DC. Yeah, so this is a European car or a UK car. So we have um, the normal charging ports, AC and DC. Amazing. Okay. And then. The lights are very interesting. They're quite different. Yeah, the lights are very elegant. And something I love is the lights are, you know, they're an accent. You know, we haven't had to design the car around the shape of the lights. We had this super coupe form in mind. Yeah. We like to call it sheer monolithic beauty, where we have this overall form. Yeah. And then the tail lights are just accented on. But done in such an elegant way, their, their verticality is a reference to this, uh, the Pantheon grill at the front of Spectre. And they have the double R on the yeah, side, of course, which yeah. is very nice. As well. think good, mate. And then you've got the full. Oh yeah, the boot. Oh, yeah, they asked me. Okay. And what is on, underneath? Is there? A... So we have an additional compartment yeah, here. On, it has some scans to the bottom. Oh, okay. So that's yeah, cables for a plug. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the total boot capacity is 380 liters. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Can we go around to the front? What would have been, say, the three most difficult elements of designing this car or engineering it? I mean, it say, well, what would have been the biggest challenges when you were making it? You know, I think if I can say one, the thing that was always with us, our mantra was 
first and foremost it needs to be a Rolls Royce. And so much effort has gone into engineering it in a way that it dries and feels like a Rolls Royce. So when you accelerate, you feel like you're accelerating in a Rolls Royce. When you take your foot off the accelerator, you coast like you're in a Rolls Royce. You have that feeling of magic carpet ride and waftability, which is so unique to Rolls so Royce unique. and so yeah. well suited to the electric powertrain. But it took a huge amount of effort to bring that Rolls Royce mantra to life. In an electric car. Yeah. Once electric cars have that safety feature of yeah. hardly crashing, that you can make anybody you want onto a Rolls Royce. Yeah. That exactly. it would be like the 20s. Yeah, exactly. So that was a, a vision concept for slightly further into the future. Yes. Um, where for sure, you know, when, when the technology is at a level where you could be totally autonomous, um, that's how we imagine a Rolls Royce may be. And which would be like having your own chauffeur, yeah. normal. Except for this is a driver's car, though, isn't it? It is. I mean, for sure. it's, it's I mean like the Phantom Coupe was more dynamic to drive. Yeah, exactly. And, and Spectre is as well, you know. And I think we're seeing more and more now our clients enjoying driving their cars. Yes. But also on occasion, particularly with with Phantom and and uh, you know Phantom Cullinan and Ghost in particular, on occasion maybe being driven. Yeah. Spectre is certainly a car to drive. Yeah. But it's also a great place to be in the back and okay. you can really enjoy it with, with friends, you use it in the evening, it's, it's really fantastic to, to enjoy, um, but certainly a car that's primarily to be driven. The, the, the layout is fairly classic. Uh, yeah, exactly, it's, it's Rolls Royce, you know? yeah. we've, we've got all the details there that make it a Rolls Royce, the metal eyeball vent. Um, and it's like, what more do you need? I mean, it's the best interior going, so yeah. why? And we've combined touchscreen with the with the rotary controller, so you've got the best of both worlds. If you like to use the controller, you can. If you like touchscreen, you can. And the, the dials, what, what do you have on the dials now for... Uh, so say, we still have the power reserve. Okay, great. Um, and then, of course, we've got speed and, and range. Yeah. We also have um, a, what we call our first digital bespoke feature. So you can um, you can curate the color of your central dial to match or to to, um, to complement the color of your interior. Nice. I drive an older Rolls Royce or Bentley, but uh, what? I forget what the miles to the gallon is for electric cars. What kind of? It's got about three hundred miles. Per 100, uh, liters per <laughs> hundred kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. Yes, two yeah. to twenty-three kilowatt hours to cover a hundred kilometers. Okay, and is that that's good? I presume. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean to get to to three hundred miles of range is you know way more than people would typically use in a day. And the beauty yeah. with, a, with, a, with with an electric car and what our client said to us was, it's great that we can now charge it at home. Yes. Um, there's something really convenient about that. In fact, more Lovely. convenient than going to the fuel yeah. station. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Does it do fast charging? Yeah, we have uh, we have rapid charging through DC. So yeah. You can charge 10 to 80 percent in 34 minutes with a uh, 195. Oh, we'll do that back. Tell us again. So it can do. So it can rapid charge from 10 to 80 percent in 34 minutes with 195 uh, kilowatt charger. That's amazing. So it can do 80 percent in 35 minutes. Yeah, 10 to 80 percent in 34 minutes. So. Okay. So it is high speed. What's your favorite? You've lived with this car now for a number of yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to see it now is incredible. Uh, what would be your favorite feature about I think, it? I think for me, I'm just so proud of all the designers and the craftspeople that worked on it. Yeah. We've, we've, it's quintessential Rolls Royce. We really um, have. I mean, like what the design you is Rolls Royce. done in Goodwood <laughs> is yeah. just amazing. Yeah, the team have done a great job, and I'm really proud of everything they've achieved because uh, it's going to be a really exciting future for Spectre and for Rolls Royce.